Hey guys, just wanted to give you a little uh, Christmas hookah right there. My cat's getting their hookah on. There were two of them in there. One of them, anytime they see a camera or something, they run. So I'm just like, whatever. But yeah, my cats lay on this nativity. And this year, I didn't even set it up. I just like threw it under there because I just know they're going to lay on it. So why bother? Hey, so I wanted to jump on here real quick and remind you guys to go get a calendar for this year. Okay, I mentioned it in one of my manifesting videos. Y'all need to get a calendar. Because this year, not only am I challenging myself, but I'm challenging you guys. We're gonna do some manifesting challenges and we're gonna do some get the hell out of the box challenges. So this year, I had said, you know what, I'm going to go do some stuff. I'm going to do stuff I haven't done before, do stuff I haven't done in a while. And you know what, y'all, I had a great year. I really did. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've done a lot of traveling this year. If you don't follow me on Instagram, head on over there. I'm under the same name. So what we're going to do this year with um, Get the Hell Out of Your Box is we're going to write down everything that we do for the first time this year. Or if it's something that you haven't done in forever. And we're going to keep track of the experiences and what we learned from them. And it's also going to help give us a grateful heart. And it's going to make us smile. And it's going to raise our vibrations, which will make manifesting even easier. So last night, I went ahead and I took my oldest daughter roller skating. Now, I went roller skating earlier this year and I hadn't been roller skating in probably 30 years. So it wasn't pretty. But my granddaughter had never been roller skating. And one of the local roller skating rinks, they do um, kid events for little kids that are just learning to roller skate and stuff like that and they had a bounce house and some of the Disney princesses came out and you know it was just fun it was just fun so I took her last night and we did go roller skating I'll post a few pictures a few still pictures but we were standing in line um, so she could get her face painted and Y'all, I'm looking at these two little girls in front of her, and they had the most gorgeous hair. And I mean, it was just curly, and it made me smile because when I was their age, my hair was just as curly. And, you know, I didn't appreciate it growing up, and some days I still don't appreciate it, y'all. Some days I really don't. So, but today, look what I, I didn't do my hair. Quote, unquote, do my hair. I'm letting the curls flow. Now, I had another girlfriend about a month ago tell me, leave your hair alone. Stop curling it. Stop straightening it. Just let the curls flow. And then yesterday after seeing those girls, I was like, you know what? My hair is naturally beautiful. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm just, so I got up today and I said, I'm not doing my hair. So what I learned from taking my granddaughter roller skating yesterday, first of all, is that natural beauty is just that it's natural. You don't have to hide it and you don't have to fake it. And I learned that from girls that were probably three and four years old. I also learned that it's the little things in life that, you know, they really do make a difference. Um, my granddaughter got really frustrated trying to roller skate for the first time, but she had so much fun meeting Elsa and Nana. She got her picture taken with, you know, an inflatable Olaf. Um, she got to color with Elsa and Anna, and her ticket into the roller skating rink included a slice of pizza. And you know what, y'all? We just had a good time. And it warmed my heart to see her having such a good time. And so I encourage you guys this year, we're going to get out of our boxes and we're going to go do stuff. And yes, roller skating was not the first time for me, but it was the first time for her. And it was my first time watching her attempt to roller skate. 
and it warmed my heart. And while we were out there, I said, I intend to have more moments like this. So I know more moments are coming. It's just a matter of, you know, when the opportunity happens. So we will be having more moments like this. And once the new year starts, I'm going to start documenting them. And we're going to, we're going to really take this to another level. Um, there's a line in a song that says, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Think about that for a minute. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Y'all, let's start doing stuff. Let's start raising our vibrations and let's start doing new things and looking at the world through other people's eyes. And let's have fun this year. And we're going to document it all. Bye, guys.